Week two was a long trek. We went through Idaho and then dropped down into the Montana mountains and then we ended the week after going over Lolo Pass. But we started our week in this little town at Dayton, Washington, and we had a day off. We have dinner uh, at this little pub, Chief Springs Fire and Iron Brew Pub, and we meet one of the partners, Ann Springs, who's telling us the story of the pub. And we got a chance then to spend time with her and her husband, Mike, uh, to talk about how they got in the business. I was a fire chief. <laughs> probably, what, 20 some years of my career. And yeah. uh, I always had this romantic dream of standing behind the bar, serving people, and I like people. <laughs> <laughs> and our motto is the only thing we serve is customer service. Yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> so. And it's really a really good example of people who came together and supported each other. And he had a passion and a vision and they turned it into a business. So how did you start brewing beer? Oh, a, a Mr. Brew set 25 years ago <laughs> kind of got me involved. And then really I got more involved when I was the chief over in Tri-Cities because they have a huge home brew group based out of Ice Harbor Brewery. And so got involved, started going to their meetings, going to different guys' houses, brewing beer in their systems. It just was interesting. Learning how to brew. Yeah. With the club. Yeah. And that turned into so so now most of the brews I understand you brew here. They're all all of them. A big part of being able to accomplish this for Mike and Anne is they have a really good partnership. I can't imagine having a better business partner. So. That's great. So what makes her such a good business partner? She's a sounding board. <laughs> She's a rock. She's here probably more hours than I am. She is 150 percent invested in making sure we succeed and i've been fortunate preparing for this ride to have the full support of christine my spouse you know there's a lot of work getting ready for this and uh, takes away from time and family and she was always supportive and she's home uh, taking care of the home front as i'm on the road here i couldn't do this without her and then of course while you're on the road you got to have support and i have the support of my good friend mike clemens dude as our sex support driver At the end of the week, we did Lolo Pass. Lolo was going to be a big challenge for me because I've never biked over a mountain. Elevation of the mountain is about 5,225 feet. It was a very rugged trip through these mountains. They thought, oh, it's going to take us five days, and it ended up taking me. 11 days to get oh. through and they almost starved. Is that when they killed the horse and ate yep. the horse? Yep, Ate yeah. their candles. They were really it, yeah, yeah. in a bad way. I was a little anxious. I didn't really know what to expect. And I was concerned that I might not be able to ride it all the way up. But I also felt I was ready. You do it because, uh, you know, you just challenge yourself to try to achieve something and I think it's the process that you go through to try to accomplish it is what drives you. You know, I was, I was surprised that I made it up there in the time frame that I did. I mean, I was cooking pretty good for an old fart like me. <laughs> and then you have the satisfaction of knowing you're doing this to support other people that are going to come behind you and try to do their thing and, you know, start good companies and be community leaders and, and kind of, again, pay it forward through their, uh, their attitude about their workers and those things. And what could be better than contributing to our economy and our people and our communities and supporting that kind of thing.